Welcome. Here's a cute puzzle. Suppose your local ice cream store is having a mega bowl special. That is, you can order 12 scoops of ice cream in a bowl from any set of 12 flavors. So maybe the flavors are something like apricot and blueberry and cranberry and dewberry, all the way up to um, JKL, lemonberry or something. So you've got 12 scoops from 12 flavors. And my question is, the puzzle is, how many different Mega Bowl specials are there? So, for example, one Mega Bowl could be nothing but but uh, apricot, or whatever I call it, A. Or another Mega Bowl, maybe just one scoop of apricot, two blueberries, no cranberries, maybe some, I don't know, some E's, whatever E is, some F's, and maybe an L. So there's lots of different possibilities. So my question is, how many different Mega Bowl specials are there? And I guess the answer is going to be a lot. How can we work this out? Well, what the mathematics what we're doing here is actually called multi-choosing. That is, we're choosing um, a set of 12 from 12 possible letters, but we're allowing repeats. Normally when we choose, we don't allow repeats, but multi-choosing is, uh, is, is allowing this. And the notation for multi-choosing is as follows. Uh, we've got 12 flavors, and we need to 12, choose 12 from that with repeats. 12 choose 12 is normally a single bracket. For multi-choosing, people put double brackets. So this means 12 multi-choose 12, and that's what we're trying to work it out. Uh, just to get a feel for it, let's do 3 multi-choose 2. That is, we've got 3 objects. Uh, let's call them A, B, and C. How many ways can we create a set of 2 if repeats are allowed? Well, we've got the normal choices, A, B, A, C, and B, C. And, you know, if these represent scoops and ice cream, B, C would be the same as C, B. The, the scoops can move about in that bowl. So these are considered the same. But in multi-choosing, we're allowed to repeat flavors. So I could have two A's, or I could have two B's, and I could have two C's. And that's it. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. So three, multi-choose two, is six. So our puzzle, the Mega Bowl special puzzle, is asking what's 12 multi-choose 12. Well, what I'm going to do here is solve the puzzle by representing flavors in a bowl by a diagram. And the diagram will actually give us a way to think about it mathematically. What I'm going to draw, coming out of just thin air for the moment, is 23 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. And I claim if I color 11 of these dots black, that's going to represent a possible mega ball. For example, Maybe I'll do this one black, one dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, five dots, six, seven, eight, nine, I know, ten, and eleven. So that leaves me twelve white dots amongst the eleven black dots. So think of the eleven black dots, each of the black dots as spaces between flavors. And I'm going to read this diagram of black and white dots as follows. The first two white dots represents two scoops of flavor A. Then we have a spacer, followed by one scoop of B. Spacer, two scoops of C, followed by a spacer with no groups of D. Spacer, two of E. Spacer, two of F. Spacer, one of G. Then no H's, no I's, that gets me here. Then no J's. Then one K, spacer, followed by one L. So there is a particular set of 12 scoops of ice cream amongst those 12 flavors. Conversely, suppose I give you the flavors first. Suppose I tell you I have uh, two A's, I have four C's, I have three H's and three J's. That's 12, yep. Is that really a diagram of black and white dots? Well, the answer is yes. I'll just change the color of my pen to make it clearer. Two A's, here they are. One, two, leave them as open dots. Spacer, no B's, straight to the next spacer. Four C's, one, two, three, four. Uh, spacer, no D's, no E's, no F's, no G's, H's, I have three of them, one, two, three, uh, spacer, no I's, J's, one, two, three, no K's, and no L's. So there we are. Every diagram of black and white dots, so 11 of these guys, 11 black dots, and 12 white dots amongst 23 dots represents, represents a mega ball special. Well, this is actually ordinary choosing. I need to 12, choose 11 spaces amongst 23. So it must be that 12 multi-choose 12 is ordinary choosing 23 choose 11, or 23 choose 12, I guess that's the equivalent here. Anyway, it's 23 factorial over 12 factorial, 11 factorial. 
and that's some big number which I can work out. And it's the answer to the Mega Ball Special. Uh, just to do a smaller example, let's go back to 3, multi-choose 2. I believe we've got the answer 6. Uh, here goes. Let's look at this again. 3, where's my pen? Whoops, there we are. 3, multi-choose 2. That is uh, choosing uh, two flavors amongst three dots. Uh, amongst three, two scoops amongst three flavors, I'm sorry. Draw five dots. Uh, actually, no, no, four dots. Ooh, what am I saying? Because I'm going to need one spacer amongst the, the, the I just need two scoops and, and two spacers. Do, do, do. I keep losing my pens, it's very boring. All right, does that represent a possible choice? Yep, that's 1A and 1B and no Cs. Or if I did something like this, two spaces here, I've got no A's, no B's, and I've got two C's. In fact, it really is going to be four, choose two, amongst the four dots, uh, choose two spaces, and four, choose two is four factorial over two factorial. Two factorial is indeed six. In fact, in general, N multi-choose K. I need K white dots, one for, each one for each actual scoop, and I need spaces between the flavors, but I only need, I need uh, spaces between n flavors, which means I need n minus one spaces. These will be the black dots. So I've got my brain together now, this makes more sense. Which means I really have a total of, total of k plus n minus one dots, from which I need to choose k of them to be white. So that tells me, oh, okay, I might have my brain back, but I certainly don't have my board technique back, that n multi-choose k is equivalent to taking a, sim a set of n plus k minus 1 uh, dots and colouring k of them white and n minus 1 of them black. So it's actually n plus k minus 1 factorial over k factorial over n minus 1 factorial. There's a formula for multi-choosing. All right, Whew. sorry I got a bit messed up there. What could be fun though, since ordinary choosing n choose k is Pascal's triangle, which is full of a myriad of puzzle about patterns and so forth, I'm going to leave as an exercise for you. What if you drew an array of all possible values of n choose k? That is, I think for your table, make these all the n values or the k values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And fill in all the possible entries. And you'll find it's going to be a whole array. Because things like uh, 1 choose um, 7, multi-choose actually makes sense. How many ways can I choose 7 scoops from one flavor? Well, there's one way. So this goes beyond Pascal's triangle. So it should be a whole two-dimensional array. It's the shape of a rectangle rather than a, an infinite triangle. What patterns lie in this array? So that's something for you to explore and have fun with, and that's multi-choosing. All right, all this appears in Volume 2 of the Thinking Mathematics series, which of course you'll find on the website, which is my little self-plug. All right, thank you very much.